Hi guys, welcome. I'm Trevor Hawley with Bali Texture Property. We've got another great villa tour for you today. This is Villa Amia. That's located in Umalas, Bali. So one of the best things about Bali is that no two villas are exactly the same. There's always some different features, layouts, and design. And this villa, I've seen the ground floor, but I actually haven't seen some of the rooms and some of the areas. So I'm actually excited to go explore this with you as well. So uh, let's go check it out. So Villa Amia is four bedroom, six bathroom, 600 square meters. We're gonna go ahead and jump in here, check out the gate, and actually what really, one of the features I really liked is uh, this front entranceway. I love how you go down into the villa to start out. It's a really great feature, so let's go check it out. I really love this entrance. It's got a koi pond landing and it just feels really exclusive the way you step down into the villa. I really like that. So, come on in. The entranceway opens up to the kitchen and dining room area as well as the main living room. Uh, there's another living room upstairs, uh, but this is kind of the central entertainment area. It's, I love this villa. It's modern, uh, but it's got good design. You know, it's got some uh, authentic Bali, you know, sculptures and, and uh, decorations and stuff. Uh, and then it opens up right to the pool. So what's also nice about this is that it's inside, which is good for air conditioning. So you can stay cool, but then if you want, you open up the doors and it goes outside. So that kind of indoor outdoor flows is really nice. And not all villas have that. Um, some with more living, you know, open areas can tend to get a little warmer. So that's really nice about this villa. So let's go ahead and check out one of the best features, which is the backyard area and pool. All right, so the back patio area with pool, lounge chairs, uh, nice lounge gazebo. But what I really love about this pool is it's diagonal. And you know what they say about diagonal pools? They're awesome. So anyway, the, uh, it's got a hot tub jacuzzi set inside and lots of deck space. So I really love just, it's a really awesome space to be able to entertain. Um, it also sits on the river. So you've got the river that's uh, running parallel with the pool. So you've got a lot of that flow of nature, which is awesome as well. And that's really what uh, these architects try and do is incorporate nature into the flow and the design of the villa itself. So um, now over this way, we've got a barbecue area. All right, so let's head over to the barbecue area. Got a nice patch of grass. And we've got a really nice eight person table. So you can do some proper barbecue out here. So while we're on the ground floor here, we can also see one of the four bedrooms. It's got a great view out here to the patio. Let's go have a look. So you can see the bedroom opens up so that you can go right out to the pool area. Uh, it's got a, you'll see it's kind of a walk around circular uh, setup. So we've got a wardrobe and a bathroom, but then also access to the bathroom, uh, the tub area here. That's got a really cool atrium design. So we've got huge plants and um, a lot of natural light, uh, which is really great. So, All right, so let's head upstairs where the other three bedrooms are, as well as another living area. This is also awesome how they have this atrium built in into the walkway. Really, really cool. So 
so I'm pretty excited right now because I haven't seen the full upstairs and I did that on purpose just to, uh, I don't know, be a, a little bit of reveal live on camera. And uh, this is sick. So we've got the uh, top living area, uh, really, really nice. I love the high pitched ceilings. You've got the, uh, you know, the classic Bali feel with that. And a nice workspace area desk that also looks out over the uh, garden there. And looks like we have another one of the bedrooms here. So let's take a look. Wow, yeah, really nice. I love the wood on the top. Uh, the, colors, the colors are just really nice. It's really cozy yet modern feel. So we'll head out onto one of the two balconies that they have. And this is cool. There's a lot of space out here, but I, I also like the glass enclosure. Uh, it gives a nice modern touch, but then that, uh, that very natural feel with all the vegetation as well is, is really cool. So um, you feel like you're in something special with that juxtaposition of the, the glass next to all the plants and trees. All right, so we'll head over to the other bedroom. This is the master bedroom. You, you know you're always in a master bedroom when you have steps and a balcony. That's pretty awesome. Uh, but this other, this other bedroom's got some good space to it. I wanna stop for a second. I really love this, how they incorporated this uh, textured cement block into the hallway. I think it's really, really cool. I've never seen anything like that. So that's uh, certainly a feature that's, that's unique to this villa. So this is uh, the other bedroom that has a balcony. Um, again, just nice and modern, but a bit of a different layout in here, a uh, nice desk area. All right, so this bedroom actually has two balconies, which is kind of cool. We've got one that opens up to the parking area, uh, but I like it, there's a rice there's a rice paddy out here, and what often happens is people will go out and fly their kites in the rice paddy. So this is, has a really cool view of uh, actually some kites dancing around, so I really like that. The other balcony is the second that overlooks the pool and backyard area. So let's step out here. It's about the same size as the other bedrooms, but wow, I mean, it's just such a great place to hang out. We can see the whole garden, we can see the river, um, can see more kites in the background. Uh, it's just a, it's a proper good hangout spot, so really cool. All right, so as we make our way to the uh, final upstairs bedroom, I have to do a proper sit in this living area. Test out this couch real quick. You never know. This one's, this is good. So I, I, I can spend some, uh, some serious time watching some TV here. Although I keep glancing over at that pool and, uh, and that's a good thing. I think Bali makes you want to go outside uh, more than hang out here. Let's head on up. We've got another, uh, the fourth bedroom up here is the, it's a twin. So we've got a couple beds, perfect for a family. Pretty much the same uh, decoration and, and style, but I um, have a nice bathroom. It's big and the, the shower's a little bit different. Uh, there's some nice stonework in here. I really like the, the hexagon tiles, so really nice. So I just noticed one other thing, and this is why I love touring villas, because you just never know what, you, what little feature you're gonna find. And uh, there's another little micro balcony out here. So for the kids to uh, come and hang out in and uh, watch the kites themselves. But I thought that's that kind of cool, just this little balcony area. Of course, it serves some utility by having the electrical box out there, but the, uh, uh, that's, that's just, you know, it still has style. So everything has style in these places, really love it. All right, so another cool component of this villa is the private chef's kitchen and then bathroom area. So if you're looking to really prepare a ton of food, uh, you've got a lot of good space. It's much more, you know, it's got industrial utility capabilities behind it. So uh, bathroom over here, and then kind of a cool little maze walkway that 
works its way back out to the main parking area. So if you're throwing a uh, catered event, you've got a back entrance to the house to make all your meals and then serve it to your guests in the dining area. Hey guys, well that's it for this tour at Villa Amia. Appreciate you coming and hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure and hit the like button and subscribe. And if you're looking for more information on Villa development, management, as well as marketing, we've left a link below where you can contact us for some more information. I'm Trevor Hawley, and this has been another Bali Texture Property Villa Tour. We hope to see you again.